Hi, Rabbi Baker. And hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Gastfriend. It is an incredible privilege and honestly somewhat emotional for me to be here today talking about a man I so admire. And I wanted to speak a little bit about how Rabbi Baker has impacted my life. I graduated again exactly 10 years ago in 2008, and my senior year was Rabbi Baker's first year as head of school. To this day, I consider him one of the most amazing educational leaders that I have met. Rabbi Baker, as I'm sure you remember, you were there for me as I fumbled my way through a year on student council, and I immediately found in you a lifelong mentor and friend. Rabbi Baker was always pushing himself and all of us to become the best leaders that we could be and to always take responsibility for those around us. At GAN, Rabbi Baker and our teachers pushed us to confront the moral complexity of the world. Personally, they encouraged me to contend with my family's history of surviving the Holocaust, to reconcile the profound privileged upbringing that I enjoyed with the enormity of the suffering that persists in the world. Rabbi and Baker, Rabbi Baker and Gan pushed us to think with both intellectual rigor and moral purpose. They encouraged us to form our own perspectives, but they never allowed us to avoid facing the essential questions. Personally, these principles led me to a philosophy called effective altruism that asks how can we do the most good possible in the world given the scarce resources we have, and tries to answer that question using evidence and rigorous debate. The voice of Rabbi Baker stayed with me as I worked in Uganda on HIV policy, in India on the social safety net, and in New York on mental health and homelessness. I met parents who had lost children to malaria and to genocide. I heard Rabbi Baker and my teachers from Gans' voices in the back of my mind, urging me to look into the eyes of these parents and to contend with the losses that they had borne, to acknowledge that there would always be more work to be done. Like the debates of the Talmud, the question of how to do the most good can never really fully be resolved. We must always keep on debating. Rabbi Baker makes his mark, as you've seen, on every student in a slightly different way. For me, one of his most enduring legacies has been his profound and amazing emphasis on community. It's an especially emotional time for me to be giving this speech because I got married three days ago. And at my wedding, six of my groomsmen were my best friends from Gan, who to this day I count as my brothers. Hey, John. My amazing wife, Julie, is in the audience today. And of course, I have turned her into a raving fan of Rabbi Baker and of Gan Academy. And as Julie and I think about what kind of family we want to bring into the world, I think to the example that I saw from Rabbi Baker every day in the halls of Gan Academy. I think to the values that my teachers encourage me to discover on my own. We hope to raise children who will never accept the status quo of suffering in the world, who will see it as their personal responsibility to make things better, who will strive to feel the urgency that is felt by parents every single day as they race to save the lives of their children from infectious disease. We hope to raise children for whom it will be second nature to treat each individual with the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, Gan, for starting this journey for us. And thank you, Rabbi Baker, for guiding us along the way.